This is how you can make a moving jaw, moving mouth, moving head using a servo and an Arduino board. This is a real easy build. All I did here was add a servo to the neck of this little skeleton cat that I corpsed. I'll show you how I corpsed it later on, but here is the servo and I use a paper clip to put it through its mouth. You can't really see it at night, so it's a good way to hide it when you're gonna have his jaw move. Okay, so once you have the wires matching, so orange will be the line um, or the signal, red would be the positive or the five volt, and then brown will be the ground. So once you have those in there, We'll stick the ground over here on this undo where it says, see here, uh, you have 3.3 volts, 5 volts in ground. So we'll put it right there in the ground. The red is the 5 volt. So you put it in the 5 volt slot right here. And then the line goes in number nine here. And the reason why it goes in number nine is because when you do your sweep on the program, that's the one that the sweep is assigned to for the signal. So when you have that all in there, and when you plug it in, So kind of loud, I get it, but that's just how the servos are. So the lines in nine, ground and bolt. So this is just a normal sweep. And you can change the speed of the sweep in the programming. So just using a regular skeleton cat you get from like Spirit Halloween or any of those, Walmart has them pretty cheap. And then I use a paper towel and some latex and that's how I corpse it, just paint it. I'm not really good at corpse and not really good at painting, but uh, it's what I use to create it. Now this is a slower sweep and it won't tilt the hit head. So when you have a faster sweep, it'll tilt the head and move the jaw faster. But this is a slower sweep and that's what it looks like. For the skull, I just drill a hole or you know made an opening for a bigger servo that could have a little more torque and a linkage to the skull. Now this is one a giant skull, so I needed a little more power. Using an extra breadboard and a three volt battery holder, you'll plug the three volt battery holder into the breadboard, into the positive and the negative. And in Arduino, you'd plug in the ground wire to the ground and the, blood, the breadboard and the five volt into the positive of the breadboard. And then from there, you would plug in a separate wire from a positive to the positive to the servo and the ground to the ground servo. Now you are supplying eight volts into the servo 
which gives it more strength to be able to move the skull, uh, the mouth. The servo that you're using is not strong enough and you need something stronger. So you get a bigger servo, but now you don't, the five volts is not enough power to this. I mean, the five volts will make it move, but let's say your skull, the, the jaw's not moving. So you need more power to this. So how I do it is I get an extra breadboard and there's two ways of doing it. You could plug in one of these uh, three volt battery holders you know, as the wires in it, and you'd plug this into here to the positive and negative, positive and negative. That'll give you three volts into there, plus the five volts from the Arduino into here. And I'll give you a total eight volts. And then with the eight volts in it, you would use another set of wires in the positive and the negative. So now you, this is going to send eight volts and you put that into the servo, the positive in here and the negative in there. And then of course your line will go to Arduino and that will supply uh, eight volts to this to give the extra strength. The other thing I did is I got this six volt power adapter and I did this little hat job right here on it. And I plug in the positive in the positive and the negative and the negative. Plus on this one, on the Arduino, I moved it from the five volt to the 3.5. So now when you put it in there is 9.5 volts. So that's charging that up. And then the out wire wires here that go to your servo into your positive and ground that will power up this servo to the amount that uh, now will give you the extra strength. So that's how I have it hooked up. So one last time, let's say you use a plug-in. You plug in the outside voltage into the positive and the ground. You plug in either the five volt or a 3.5 volt into the positive here and the ground into the ground. And then the, la the wire here, now you have it powered up, this wire will go to the servo to power it up. The positive with the positive and the ground with the ground. Oh,